You know something, Terry? I really appreciate your advice. No problem. But you see, when two people love each other the way Joshua and I love each other, we can still be very independent. Is that so? Well, yeah, it is. And if I want to go chasing Annie to the ends of the earth, I don't need his permission. Well, I think that's great, Reva. I mean, after all, that's how a relationship should be. I would have to agree. An equal partnership, mm -hmm. just like Frank and myself. Although I have to say, I, I really do hope I find a man like Joshua someday. Well, I think you're barking up the right tree with Alan Spaulding. What is that? Oh, come on, admit it. He's quite a catch. We're just friends, Reva. Does that mean you're still looking? Always. I am always looking, Reva. And is that what brought you to Springfield? Fresh meat? Oh, <laughs> oh no. You see, I hadn't managed to date every guy in Detroit just yet. Ah. So why are you here? Police work. Well, now that surprises me that a detective as capable as you would find excitement in such a small community like Springfield. Mm, well, it's far from calm here, you have to admit. Well, that, that, that's true. But you strike me as the ambitious type, and this would seem like a step down. Well, actually, you'd be surprised. Springfield Police Department is, has an excellent reputation for promoting women. Well, there is something to be said for being a big fish in a small pond. I wouldn't call myself a big fish. Don't you miss your family back in Detroit? Of course I do. I just... I needed to get away for a while. And what did they think when you decided to move? You know, that's a long story, Reva, for another day. I just... I needed to get some distance. Let's leave it at that. Well, I hope someday you'll be able to tell me your long story. Perhaps. Oh, you know, there was another question that I had, though. Have you ever met Annie Dutton? You know that I haven't. Why would you ask me that? Well, it just seems that every time her name comes up in conversation, you seem... I don't know. Sympathetic? I wouldn't say that. So you're not denying your fascination with her? Oh, no, I admit. She fascinates me. It's amazing that she's risen to almost mythological stature in this town. <laughs> I look at her as being a very tragic figure. Oh, well, Joan of Arc, she's not. <laughs> what she actually is is a very dangerous psychopath, and if she's out there, I'll find her. Well, good luck, Reva. Because in my opinion, you're not going to find anything. But what do I know? <laughs> well, I hate to break this up, but I really do have to get back to the police station. It's been great. Okay. Uh, Terry. Yeah. You'll let me know if you find that missing body. Well, Reva, you'll be the first person I call. is definitely not right. Well, how do you know? Because every instinct is screaming that there's something wrong with her. Well, what are you going what are you going to do about it? Yes, I need the number for Springfield Travel. I'm going to pay Terry's brother George a little visit. Save your strength, baby. Come on. You don't have to tell me anything. You don't have to say anything. You got a whole lifetime to say it. Ten later. No, I have to say it now, but I can't. What do you mean, why you can't? You're gonna be fine. You're gonna be fine. Stop being so damn dramatic. Stop, Buzz. What do we got? Anyway. I know I'm hurt. Man, I know. I don't want you to be afraid. I'm not afraid. I'm going to be afraid of. I'm looking forward to our new food life. Let's talk. Let's talk about a future together, okay? We're going to sail away. We're going to end up out in a sail away to paradise. Away from all our troubles. Where the only important thing is us, you, me, and the kids. Come on. I'm going to give you the exciting life you always wanted. Uh, Hang on. Already. Right. Oh, come on. The diner was never your cup of tea. Yes. Uh, 
as long as I was with you. You're gonna be with me. You're gonna swim in those blue waters. We're gonna lie on the beach. We're gonna get tanned. We're gonna drink Philly drinks. It's gonna be a dream. Uh, my dream already came true, my darling. That's why I'm not afraid. Don't talk like that. Don't talk. Uh, I, all my life, I thought I knew what I wanted. I thought I wanted money. Possessions and lots of houses. But you see, I was all wrong because I got what I wanted. And a man with no money <laughs> would live in a firehouse. <laughs> oh, thank you for saving me. Thank you for loving me. You promised you kissed my baby. It's our BP. You kissed my baby. No, you kissed the baby yourself. Great night for me. You kissed myself. I think I do. She went through some tough times, but she loved her children. As I do mine. Detective Cooper called? It's not necessary. I'll get my coat. Oh, uh, you don't have to come with us. Why not? We're on babysitter patrol. I'm sorry, we're a little overdressed. What do you mean? Detective Cooper wanted us to get the kids. He said his dad is going to need them tonight. Buzz is going to need them? Anything happened to him? You don't know? Know what? There was an accident. Mrs. Cooper has been injured. It's very serious. <laughs> has been Guiding Light. Accessories provided by Coach.